Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Ross Jennings, and this afternoon I'm with Cal and David from The Extremists. How are you guys doing? Very well. Great. Thank you. Are you enjoying The Fringe this year? Lovely. It's fantastic. This is my first one. Yeah. So. This is my 14th. <laughs> so. A regular and a, and a virgin. <laughs> a virgin, sure, if you want to go that way, sure. How have the, sh have the shows been going this year? Very well. Great. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm having such a good time. And the audiences this year compared to back home? How do you find them? Oh, well, I live in London, actually. <coughs> so. <laughs> you mean, you mean the, how the yeah. audiences are like behaving Reacting, in the show? Behaving, yes. I've never done this show for an American, I mean, a, an audience in America. So, and I'm actually neither of us have. We, this is the first time we've done this show, so. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time we've done it, yeah. I yeah. mean. This is, the, this is the premiere of this production, not of the show. I the world premiere. It's uh, not a world premiere. This production. No, no this the show's production. been done before. It's not been done, Atlanta, yeah. Georgia. I think it's been done in Berlin. Yes, Berlin. I mean, I do feel like there's a sense of fun to the audience sort of more consistently than there is just at a regular show in America because this is the French festival. We right? find that audiences are more attentive here than in America. Yeah. There's this sort of expectation, I suppose, at the fringe to be like, uh, and, yeah, exactly. and there's appreciation. Like, yeah. It could be the junk food in America. <laughs> It could be. <laughs> and tell us a bit about yourselves. Carol, you are originally from, both from the States, but... Um, yeah. I was born in North Carolina, but I've lived in Brooklyn since 1989. And um, I'm an actress. I also work as a private chef sometimes, but that's not what I'm focusing on right now. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, tell them I something. live in London. I, I'm uh, from New York, uh, well, New Jersey originally, but I lived in New York for many, many years. And um, I uh, live in Probably. London now. And I love it there. And um, what made you want to do this show, guys, together? It's uh, C.J. Hopkins is the greatest, ch most challenging writer to do. This is the third yeah. show I've done of his. He's done a lot of C.J. I've never <coughs> done this before. He has. And every time, every, each one has been like, "Oh, this is the hardest thing I'm, I'm, I've ever done." And then the next one came. It's like, "Oh, this is the hardest thing I've ever done." And now this one is. This one's definitely the hardest. <laughs> But uh, no, but it's great. It's yeah. challenging. It's fantastic. It's 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 you know it's not it's not fluff. No, I'm it's, telling it's you. It's funny though. Without spoiling it too much, can you give us a bit of a, a, a teaser, the themes and things, what goes on for you well, guys and for the audience? About, I'm sorry to cut you off. One thing it's about is uh, how this isn't really a real conversation. It's a simulated conversation <laughs> that we're having right now. Right? Spooky. <laughs> kind no, of. It really is. No, it's yeah. really one of the things it's about because it's a, it's a talk show host. I'm sorry. It's That's a, me. It's a, it's a, it's a, t a politics show. Yes. Uh, I'm a terrorism expert, and this is... Uh, um, uh, Jane Woolray. Jane the Woolray. The interviewer. Or I was going to say Jer uh, 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 Jeanette Paxman, you might say. You may like is Jer that somebody Jeremy, from London? Jeremy Paxman. He's like, uh, he's like oh. Ted Koppel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's what I'm like. And, and She's yeah. the grilling you, okay, <laughs> but not with a beard at the moment. No. Not at the moment, no, no. So I have so to shave every day. And every day. And we it's the hormones. I don't want to get into it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and we talk. Uh, she's interviewing me about terrorism and how the threat that we face in the world, in the Western world, from terrorists and extremists. But you know. We're a little extremist ourselves. Yeah, it's it's that's a lot it of different nutshell. levels. It's like the actual terrorism hysteria that's constantly being thrown at us now, layered with the extremism of the global markets, the extremism of the media, layer, layer, layer. But funny. And is it how is it quite sensitive there in the topics? Obviously, that terrorism can be quite sensitive in many ways, but not. If, is it offensive? Offensive? No. Offensive would would people take it, take it offensively in the way the topics that you're discussing or the way you're I discussing? Someone could, but I don't yeah. think. I think a terrorist might. A terrorist might be offended. <laughs> <laughs> the occasional American might be offended, but I'm an American. I'm not offended. I say it every day. Uh oh yeah. No yeah. walkouts just yet then. No. We've not had a single. Not walkout. a single walkout. Ross. Not I, a single walkout. We resent walkout. your implication. I resent that. One <laughs> nap no, maybe. Quality of acting. But. Right. Why did you ask if there were walkouts? Because some people, some people have, but and some, some I think some, some comedians kind of rate the quality of what they're doing on, on, on. Oh, we're not 
not, no, but it's not a comedian, but like uh, actors as well. Provocative work, and there in the past there have been people mm, that have exactly. walked out. No one has walked out of our show. So provocative, maybe and that was a better choice of word. Uh, if they will, I'll go provo- get them and drag them back in. No, How about that? Very, it is provocative, and um, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I, it's provocative. It's provocative. You can edit, and this no part one's out. left yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to hear. Provocative, and no one's left. You can no put that on left. <laughs> David Calvito just got nominated uh, for a Best Actor award. Right? I did. Yeah. Congratulations. The stage. The I stage. Right? I found that out yesterday. The he stage. just found out last night. Congratulations. Thank okay. You. Yeah. yeah can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. Uh, CJ, I've been nominated three times in Edinburgh mm-hmm. for the Best Actor award from the stage, and each time it was CJ Hopkins plays. So that's my career. If he goes, I'm okay. done. So, will, uh, will we be looking forward to you guys next year? Hopefully. I hope so. I would love to come back next year, and I'll do whatever I can to do it. <laughs> I would love to come back. I always come back. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, guys, for speaking to us today. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. And best of break a leg thank today and for much. the rest of the time at the Fringe. Thank you very much. This is Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Thank <laughs> you.